Welcome back, 0K fans! This is Shadow 333 with another Google Vlog QA match. And it's gonna be one on Lowland Crossing, which is everyone's favorite map. Well, no, obviously not. It's actually. It's okay, but I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fans of this map. It's not so bad. I mean, it's got. The issue I think with it is that, that it's very difficult to cross the center. Like, crossing the river here is a big deal. And it makes it rather difficult to set up proper offenses. It does also mean, of course, that you can fairly easily take the entire side. The reclaim is kind of nice, though, but yeah, it's kind of a long map. No easy ways to attack. Like, three very narrow paths, so... Limited somewhat in that respect. Go for a corporate, go for an amphib plant, so it's going to be very useful in that regard. Because, well, hey, you can cross, cross the river directly! And going straight for one duck, one conch. Cube going, however, for light vehicles, which is pretty much the opposite. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure about that, but yeah. Light vehicle on this map. It is flat, yes, but that doesn't really make a difference. It gets flat, and this center area is not too hard, but that cuts out this side and this side. So Cube can only go through the center, while Google Frog has the entire river. The Google Frog has no limitations on where they can go. So, yeah, Google Frog's going to have an easier time on this, much like last time. I don't really see how else this could go. Like, this couldn't really go any differently at this point. I mean, the Scorchers are going to help out, but then the Ducks... Well, the Ducks do not have enough damage to instant kill the Scorchers, so the Scorchers will have a chance to attack them until the Ducks get up to about... I think three of them. Actually... No, two of them. Two ducks will one-shot a Scorcher. Or one duck will two-shot a Scorcher. And the second duck is coming in, so Google Frog, double-checking the southeast. I think they're suspecting the southwest, but they're probably going to go for the south. They're checking the southeast first, sees nothing, knows the Cubase in the southwest, and thankfully for them, they have enough ducks to one-shot Scorchers. Four ducks at this point, actually. It's going to come down to positioning, and Google Frog, one of their ducks, is going behind the Scorchers. We're able to get straight into the base, although it's not going to work out too well. One of their ducks does go down, a second duck comes up, and targets the right Scorcher, which is good. However, it does go down again, so two ducks have gone down for the cost of one Scorcher, which does put Cubay slightly ahead. So despite the terrain disadvantage, Cubay actually doesn't have a big disadvantage at this point. It's going to be later on. Google Frog can set up defenses along the center, and Cubay has to go through them. While Google Frog can just push around. And yeah, Lowry's kind of right. There's, this is... This is a map where silos do come up. Not uncommon to see si missile silos around 15-20 min mark in this particular map. And that Scorcher... Well, it's gone. However, it takes out yet another duck. So, three Scorchers for three ducks. Ultimately, Google Frog gets ahead on that trade. But Cube is ahead economically slightly. Has one more metal extractor, one more solar plant has more potential for reclaim, but... Oh yeah, actually not more potential. They are actually reclaiming actively at the moment as well. While Google Frog isn't. They have conches around the map building up wind generators, building up metal extractors, but they haven't taken much reclaim in their main base. Well, Cubay is taking a lot of it. Once again, ducks getting past Scorchers. No ducks dying this time from the looks of it. And double checking whether or not Google Frog has set up in the south... Sorry, northeast corner of the map. Not happened, though. Google Frog not yet set up there. Fully focused on this northwest side of the map. And actually, yeah, the entire northwest corner of the map. Google Frog expanding south rather than expanding east from their main base. Cube, not a bad guess there, but does not manage to pull it off. And ooh, good choice in Archer there. Pushing the score. This is very good. So for those of you not aware, Archer, of course, pushes units away. And since Scorchers have their damage amplified by being close to their opponents, Archer is a perfect counter. Reduces the damage of the Scorcher while, of course, hitting them from a long range anyway. So Archer, good call there, Google Frog. And they're going for boys just for the extra tanking and slowing everything down. Because at this point, Cubay's advantage is speed. Well, sort of, levelers not so much, but definitely in the Scorchers. I'm having a little slow there, but mostly just tanking. That's what it's very useful for. And... Google Frog now taking the center. Has not yet set... Oh! Terraforming the center! Very nice! So there's now no way for Cubay to get their vehicles across the center. 
Or maybe this. Maybe. But yeah, Google Frog has total control over the north side of the map now. There's basically nothing Cubay can do to get in using vehicles. They'll have to do a fact switch. And Cubay doesn't seem to care. They're pretty much focused entirely on setting up their entire side. But Google Frog has free reign to push in. And there is very little that Cubay can do about it. Although Google Frog, their ability to raid is going to be limited by Cubay's forces. But still, Cubay cannot attack Google Frog. Google Frog can attack Cubay. It's kind of a matter of time now. Unless Cubay switches factories. Cubay will have to switch factories. That's the only choice. Because like I said, the, these units can't really cross here. Or if they can, it will be a single file at best. And Scorchers, sorry, Slashers apparently, are they not able to hit the boys? I don't think they should, I would think, but I guess the line of sight's just off for them. Yeah, it looks like the line of sight doesn't quite work out for these, for the Scorchers, which is, sorry, for the Slashers, which is unfortunate for them, but fortunate for the boys because they get free shots if they would hit. They could fire in the general direction anyway, I mean, hitting is optional, but hey, firing, that's, that's the real privilege. However, the Slashers now finally getting their shots, and it doesn't matter, the boys, I mean, 1250 health, that's a lot of health. Boys have a lot of health to work with, and of course they slow their opponents down, and Amphibs regen health a lot faster in water. So these boys are going to be very difficult to kill, getting a lot of kills off, Google Frog having the, the entire Northwest side locked down, and sending a couple, ooh, nice, couple ducks and an archer around the back. Those Slashers are ready for that, Cube was well prepared for this one. You know, they knew that there was going to be something coming in. There was going to be some crazy trick or some assault along the side there. They were prepped for that. Still though, Cubay pretty behind Google Frog at this point. And Google Frog getting Geoplant, not getting a fact switch though. Just continuing to get boy after boy after boy. No factories yet though. Nothing, nothing yet. Just the caretakers, just constructing the geothermal plant. Though... Well, this stuff as well. Google Frog's building up extra defenses as a caretaker on the Geo Plant and as the factory. The caretaker is now helping out. So yeah, Google Frog in about five minutes should be able to overrun Cubay pretty effectively. And Cubay actually, whoa, e stalling too, and not pushing more. Actually, not building anything in the factories. What is Cubay trying to do? There's no fact switch yet. I don't see any storage for that. I mean, I've seen them do. I've seen him do a. Them. I was right in the first place. I've seen them do a fax switch into. Oh, actually, it was light vehicles at the time in Church and Hills. But I've seen them do a fax switch with storage. They build up metal and then set up the fax switch. But. Well, that might have been what's happening here. There is an air switch that's just completed into 10 Ravens. So, Cubay. Gonna try to push that out as quickly as possible, getting some solars to help with that as well. Now, Google, on the other hand, going for Grizzly, figuring that they have the game, going for the Grizzly just to finish it off. And the boys doing a decent job damaging the center, but not actually managing to get any ground. Continuing to have to w go back into the water, not able to really establish a beachhead on Cubay's side. Google Frog, on the other hand, though, does still have actually not much of a military advantage. And with the Ravens up and no anti air force coming, no archers are being built. There are archers actually being built after the. Sorry, anglers. Archers. We already saw them. Archers are the ones that have the water firing. The water guns. No, anglers. That's what it is. No anglers coming up. Grizzlies coming up first. I'm pretty sure it can hit air. I mean, it's 1,500 damage a shot, so it will be able to kill the Ravens without too much issue. I mean, it's got a really low fire rate, though. So that's the problem. However, boy, coming along here, along the east side of the map, Cubay will be losing this entire section. Save for the Ravens. The Ravens are really the only hope. And the Grizzly is up. Our anglers are coming up right afterwards. Google Frog also setting everything up so that just in case anything comes in. They have defenders. They have everything set up for that. The boys are trying to do what they can, but a couple of them do go down. Didn't manage to get rid of any of the Ravens. Slowed them down a little bit, but still, this the southeast side is still pretty much doomed. Especially the Grizzly coming in fairly quickly. Actually, the Grizzly is going to be able to take care of the entire southwest side. First angler is up, second angler is up, and it looks like we're just gonna go straight to boy production once, once again after that into gunship. Probably for tridents, possibly for brawlers, knowing the popularity of brawlers right now. Brawlers would not surprise me, but tridents would allow Goofog to get rid of all of these ravens. And the grizzly has come in. 
still to do its thing. Google Frog, however, entirely focusing, or entirely operating off radar right now, and it doesn't matter anymore. Got vision, can kill everything. Have vision, will slaughter. But the Ravens, well, don't want to see that. Still, the Grizzly is just too much Grizzly for that. And the Grizzly doesn't even, even seem to care if it can aim that far up. And yeah, it looks like it can. Gets rid of one of the Ravens without much concern. Another Raven goes down to the defenders. And at this point, Cubay still doesn't have much. Cubay once again, rather low on options. And it looks like, ooh, an, is this going to be an Angler drop? No, it's going to be a Scallop drop. Nice. Yeah, because the Anglers are actually in position already. So, yeah, Scallop Drop, that will work out beautifully. And the Raven's going down, too. No real anti-air as well. And it's not much that we expected. There is a Wolverine coming up, which I can kind of see why, given the fact that there's no easy way through. But, honestly, the air wasn't a terrible idea. It's just that there's not much to work with. A better idea probably would have been to switch to bots, actually. Just to have more force on the ground. At this point, it's a little bit too late for that without... A lot of force behind it. Like really supercharging a fairly large bot army, probably a shield ball of some sort. To be able to punch through the northeast side and get rid of all this. But that's not happening. In fact, what's happening is, of course, the scallop drop. And that scallop drop is going to be happening right in the middle of Cubay's base, which should end the game. I don't think Cubay's gonna have much to answer to this. Scallops go down and down goes everything else afterwards. I mean everything. Solar clouds go down, factories go down, light vehicles down, and air pads about to go down as well. Airplane factory goes down, and the scalps basically seal the game. Cuba is going to throw in the towel any second now. Nope, they're not building any additional factories. The game is over. That was... Wow, two games where Google Frog just totally... Okay, the first game was Cuba's experimentation. Second game, though... This right here, this this trench here, I mean, even without that trench, light vehicles are a bad idea on this map, but this trench, yeah. So that is, well, the second game. There is, however, another game. In fact, there's two more games. So we'll see if Cuba is able to redeem themselves in the next couple of games. I will be back with that in just a couple minutes, so stay tuned.